Hello YouTube. I got these nice pair of Bose Companion 5 speaker set and um, actually I got them because my teacher um, in a classroom and as you can see here we got these small speakers up here Bose Companion System uh, 5 and I think they're pretty awesome in the classroom so I decided to get a pair myself uh, but I decided to upgrade to get the version 5, Companion 5, and uh, to use them for my TV. But um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I had some problems, uh, troubles in getting them to work together with my TV. Well, there's this control part, and uh, usually you just tap the control part and uh, you switch them on. And some people have some issues about the the speakers. They are they they go out after a while because they don't receive any audio. And uh, this is like this is um, uh, the AUX audio, um, which is an analog signal. And these speakers are meant to be PC speakers. So you had to attach them to the PC as a USB unit to get it to work correctly so it it wouldn't work with the TV because I didn't want to tap this control part all the time so I was looking into how to get them to stay on all the time and I was looking through some different forums and um, I, I saw a Mac forum they use this system this um, where they live it this one this is like an Airport Express and uh, those Mac guys, they attach the USB cable to this one and they kind of stayed on. So <laughs> I got one of these used on the internet and it kind of worked. They stayed on, but as the speakers are on all the time, you hear this buzzing sound from the speakers and you can also hear uh, feel that that the uh, amplifier is uh, is getting hot so it's it's it stays on all the time and it um, uses a lot of power so i didn't want that solution also the buzzing noise would be annoying so i wanted to switch off and and kind of like it was meant to be but for for um, my tv use so a colleague of mine and i we started to look into the circuit here and uh we made a hack for it. So, as you can see here, this is the internal USB wire from inside. It was supposed to be attached there. This is normally hanging outside of the cabin. Um, so, you see here, they have now gone into sleep mode. The red dot there is, uh, is, is red. So they are off at the moment. But, as I'm using my phone for videoing, um, I can't use this for audio, so uh, I decided to use this one. This is just the normal uh, USB charger, just to show that as soon as this one gets 5 volt from a USB unit and not any digital input whatsoever, only 5 volts, they will be on. So let's just plug them in. So now they're on. Let me just turn on some music. And they're playing very nicely. So with this hookup I made here, I can't switch them off anymore. But as soon as I unplug the USB, they switch off. So, my TV, it has a USB output on the side. So, if I just attach my USB unit, the USB cable, to my USB on my TV, they will switch on together with the USB. And uh, using the AUX input for the speakers, connected to the output of the uh, for headphones on the TV and they will work perfectly together with the remote control on the TV. So how did I do this? Well, I'll try to show you. Down here I got a small relay 
It's a switch relay, this one. Let's, let's see if I can zoom in on it. This is something I just took off from some used electronic. So, I hooked this on to the USB cable. The red and uh, black wire, I just opened the USB cable inside and soldered them on here. And um, on the back of the print, right here, you see, let me see. I soldered on the wires here. So, to explain how I got this to work this way, I'll make a small drawing on the whiteboard here. See if I can zoom in, there's a lot of light here. All right. So, this one here, that's the diagram of the relay. Inside the relay, there's a switch here. So as the relay is in off position, that means no current is coming from uh, the USB cable. This relay will stay in this position. So on pin number two and three, they are shorted up here. I don't this, use this side of the relay. So what I did was pin number two, I added that one to pin number five of the rear side of the um, uh, connector of the print of the, um, the circuit board uh, inside the bow speakers. Pin number five, th this is a rear view of the print. And the other one, number three, I soldered it onto pin number four. So that means as long as the USB is not connected, those two terminals, they are shorted. And as soon as I turn on power from the USB, the relay switches this switch over. So these two pair of connectors, they stay together. So that means that connector number three and number four are now connected. So I have now a short connection between pin number one and number four which will turn on the speakers and will keep them stay on as long as the USB is connected to a power source, the TV for example. <coughs> so when I turn off my TV, there's no power source from the USB output of the TV and the relay switch back to this position and short up pin number four and number five, which turn off the Bose speakers. And as they have been turned off for, I don't know, four or five minutes maybe, they will go into sleep mode and there will be no buzzing noise from the speakers and the amplifier will not get hot and it will not use any power consumption. So, guys, this is how you hack the Bose speaker system, the Companion 5 speaker system. By the way, as I don't use these speakers as USB speakers anymore, you don't need to connect the inside USB cable to this port on the amplifier print anymore. Just leave it off. It doesn't matter. You don't need to put it on. And nothing broken, nothing is not uh, beyond repairable again, or you can just you can just cut off the wires and, and they work just like they were meant to be at the first place. So this is my guide how to hack your Bose speakers. By the way, as I've written on the whiteboard, the small shift relay, five volt shift relay, I've used just this it was a Panasonic relay uh, with this number up here. But I guess any small shift, five volt shift relays will work. Just uh, Google the diagram. You can find them on AliExpress, for example. They're like less than one dollar each. So it's a very cheap solution. Just use some wire, some soldering, and some insulation tape, 
and you're all set. So thank you for watching. Please comment or press like button below.